Hey there, it's Shadow Penguin, and as you may have noticed from the footage thus far, I have Skyrim Special Edition. This hopefully will improve my build so much, because now you won't have to be looking at old 2011 Skyrim anymore, you're looking at my builds in Skyrim Special Edition. Where, and honestly, the Plains of White Run at 9 o'clock in the morning, almost, almost turned on the waterworks, you know, behind my eyes, so... It's just beautiful, what can I say? So anyway, let's jump into this week's build, the Ice Queen. The Ice Queen, known as Ariane to her own people, is one of those ancient farmer, a cold and aloof snow elf, lamenting the passing of a bygone era, introspecting on glories lost. She is, or was, one of the great snow elf leaders, an orchestrator of the Night of Tears. Many of her race allowed those early Altmorans free passage into the land of Skyrim, land of the ancient Falmer, by right of blood and by right of birth. She used her significant influence to give backing to the Night of Tears and was at the forefront of the devastation, striding forth along with the snick snick of the elves' clever blades, which flashed bright white in the moonlight overseeing the slaughter. So too was she at the front of the defence when Yskimor returned at the head of his 500 finest souls, shield biters from the north. The Hersia retinues of the great war leaders all had answered his call for battle. The fighting was cataclysmic, with no quarter asked nor given. She was next to the Snow Prince as he succumbed from his injuries, cradling his head in her lap. Her claws of raised ice lashed out, lacerating ranks of the Atmorans. Yet so too did her compatriots fall, united in the snow with their bitterest enemies. So too did she slay the dumb giant, and Yskimor, remiss to censure her himself, sent his best, the lieutenants, the berserkers, so crazed with battle madness that they remained heedless to the ice which froze them to the ground, oblivious to her Achnax, her protectors who eventually fell to the swords and axes of Yskimor's chosen. They forced her back inside Sarthal, suspended in a cryosleep for centuries, until she finally reawoke, with new purpose in her limbs and vengeance in her heart. Yet weak as a newborn lamb, still disorientated, she was captured by the Legion and carted off to Helgen to await execution. From there, your story begins. The stat spread for this build is 70% Magicka, 15% Health and 15% Stamina. With your main skills being Destruction, Conjuration and Light Armour, your equipment will be the Light variant of the Stalrim Armour for everything, with the exception of the head, upon which you will place the Ancient Falmer Crown. As for playstyle, you, you will mainly be using Area of Effect Frost spells, such as Ice Storm and Blizzard, which you will spam when kiting, to drain powerful enemies of their stamina, making their job more difficult the longer the fight progresses. You will also be using Frost Atronach. Your standing stone for this build is the Atronach Stone, with your main shouts being Cyclone, Ice Form and Frost Breath. Your quest lines being the College of Winterhold, the main quest, Blood and Silver, upon which you'll side with Madanak, and the Civil War quest line, of course on the side of the Imperials. Anyway, that's all for today. Don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to see more content like this, and see you next time with another video.